we're we're going to cover some more of uh, Biden because Biden has been in the news so much lately. But when you're that stupid and you're that compromised and your family's such a bunch of s bags, I mean, you're going to be you're going to be bound to make the news, right? Yeah, once or twice. We, uh, something else we missed while we were gone last week is he did it again. Oops, he did it again. He, he stumbled going up the stairs again. God, and this Almighty. time it wasn't even like the full on upper deck of air force one they have actually switched to lower stairs to go into the lower deck of air force one to accommodate him to accommodate him you know i'd like to upper deck his uh his toilet i'm just saying that's how much i dislike the guy go ahead yeah coming from fox news uh two white house advisors reportedly acknowledged an intentional shift to the lower stairs in an effort to make presidential travel easier Politico reported two Biden advisors privately acknowledged an intentional shift to steer the 80 year old president to the lower stairs more often to make his travel easier and limit the possibility for missteps. They also highlighted the president was now wearing sneakers as oh. opposed to dress shoes recently. God, he's just like John Fetterman, man. But John Fetterman can walk. Can't talk. Yeah, he, he just walk. can't talk. Um, yeah, John the, Fetterman. the sneakers are another con- concession to comfort necessitated by age. Look, I can relate to that. Um, but oh, yeah, oh, the yeah fact okay, that they it's comfort. To, it, it's he needs traction, he can't even walk, dude. Yeah, he can't talk, he can't walk, he can't function, function. he can't do anything. Yeah, it, this, I mean, <laughs> so, jokes write themselves. Like, he why can't, not look if you're gonna do this, let's just let's just go all in and give him an escalator or one of those things that we've joked about numerous times, the little, the chair the, that, that rides the, up the, the, the rail, chairlift, you know? like in gremlins yeah. where the old ladies just, riding the chairlift up. Just and the sit his like, ass <laughs> down and buzz yeah. him up to the door and then, you know, help Paul Paul into the plane. He can't even keep his mouth shut. Okay. Did you hear about this? The, he Originally he said he wasn't going to do it, but he's going to give Ukraine now, missiles that'll go 185 miles for the high mars he said he wasn't going to do it now he's going to do it he was worried about third world war which we've got some third world war stuff coming up uh we're going to talk about that he but he can't even keep his mouth shut this is a fox news headline not only is he stupid not only is he cognitively declined he can't walk he can't function he looks like it's like weekend at bernie's with this guy man (laughs) that and we told that i told you that it turned 35 last week Weekend at Bernie's. Yeah, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, whatever. Potatoes, potatoes, let's call the whole thing off. Fox News headline, Biden lets American military info slip during live interviews, sparking backlash. Uh, President Biden sat down for a recent interview in which he said the United States is low on 155 millimeter artillery ammunition rounds, sparking outrage and questions of competency from conservatives on social media. During the interview, which aired Sunday morning, Biden defended his administration for sending cluster munitions to Ukraine as a transition period until more munitions are produced. What he did was pulled up his skirt and showed the whole world our woohoo, especially Russia. Did any, is anybody surprised at this point that we're running low on munitions? We no, because we keep sending them to Ukraine. Oh, and we've said that we talked about this before, Dees. What? And, is and Russia left, re- left a truckload of them in afghanistan you know there's been people that i've talked to that know people in ukraine and know people in europe and they're saying what you're hearing in america is not the case this is a war of attrition and they're not just russia and china are not just wearing down ukraine they're wearing down nato as a whole so i'm gonna play this clip for you this guy i'm just gonna play it let's pull this up and roll clip this is a war relating to munitions and uh, the running out of those that ammunition, and we're low on it. And so yeah. what I finally did, took the recommendation of the Defense Department to not permanently, but to allow for in this transition period where we get more 155 weapons, these shells for the Ukrainians. He just says right there, we're running low on them. Yeah. He, he just came out and told everybody the situation we're in, which... It was no surprise, but why come out and say it? We knew this. We talked about this. Everybody's been talking about this. We can't. It's, it's not an endless supply of things. No, that's something you talk to your, you know, your joint chiefs and, and everybody in the situation room. That's not something you say in a press conference. No, I agree with that 100%. So he can't keep his mouth shut. 
It's just like he couldn't keep his mouth shut about son of a bitch, fire the prosecutor. Well, and that's nobody's coming back and, and pointing this stuff out in the Democratic Party. Like I said, they're in league with him because they're all guilty. You know, it's it's just I don't want to say it's uh, honor amongst thieves because I never really believed in that. But I'm starting to believe in that now. I'm really believing those there is honor amongst these thieves. All right. So we're in the second we're in the second half of the show, right? Yeah. And we like to get a little bit more fun in the second half of the show. I'm going to play this real quick for you. Kamala Harris tried explaining what AI is. And I'm not even going to... Yeah, this is going to it real quick. Uh, she was she she had a meeting with civil rights leaders on Wednesday. Harris huddled with the CEOs of the Center for Democracy and Technology. Uh, and she decided she was going to explain to them what AI was. So we're going to roll it real quick. And go. And I think the first part of this issue that should be articulated is AI is kind of a fancy thing. It's, first of all, it's two letters. It means <laughs> artificial intelligence. But ultimately what it is, is it's about machine learning. And so the machine is taught. Yep. And part of the issue here is what information is going into the machine that will then determine and, and we can predict then, if we think about what machine, what information is going in, what then will be produced in terms of decisions and opinions um, that may be made through that process. God damn it, Gump! You're a goddamn genius! Yes, Gump, you are a genius. That was uh, the Vice President of the United States that for you. That is the second most powerful person in our country. If Joe Biden... Uh, Trips Forget and falls down the if steps. If Joe Biden gets any more dumber and forgets to breathe and dies in his sleep, that is the president of the United States of America right there. Now, she's had a long list of not being able to speak. And I get it. Some people can't do what Aldonzo and Dees do. But, you know, you're the vice president of the United States. Uh, maybe you should take some, some speech classes or some coaching. Or maybe just have some notes and prepare a little bit. AI is well. Of course, it's it's uh, it's two letters. It's artificial intelligence. Are you kidding me? No, it, she seriously. She needs to go back I, to working they, on her knees and get the hell out of the White that's House. That's right. That's right. That's right. She owns stock and knee pads. Anyway, oh uh, wait a minute. I don't think we can talk about. Oh wow, man. I think the clock is slow. I don't feel tardy. We've got the two dumbest people in the world running one of the most powerful countries in the world right now. Sad day. It's a very sad day. So, you know, we were talking about uh, uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Mm -hmm. Dude, I think they're really scared of him. I think he's like pulling like 21% on Biden right now, which yeah. is, which is which huge is, for an incumbent. And they won't let him debate. Like, if they actually would let him debate Biden. He'd tear him I, apart. I, oh, my God. Uh, yeah. He'd, he'd tear him, him apart. He'd, he'd absolutely, absolutely kill, him. kill him. Yeah. And I, <laughs> Jinx, Biden, you owe me a Coke. Biden cannot debate. Biden couldn't debate a dog. No. Woof, woof. Uh, uh, hey, Jack. 